So, so all the nominees are here. You're all here. And uh, to us, you know, you're all winners tonight. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Literally about 12 winners here. <laughs> the rest of you essentially are losers. <laughs> What's rather wonderful that the first uh, award for theatre done on the internet is being presented in a live theatre run like certain other awards. <laughs> and I'm also very grateful that I'm the first one on, but I'm, look, I'm not dressed very well because I'm between uh, Carson Oliver's and Nancy's, literally down the road, and I got to play for the wonderful Ian Adam in his award, uh, his award, my goodness, his memorial service tonight. Um, but I'd like to say how fantastic it is to win this because I think what um, I think is happening in theatre is, is just truly extraordinary and I'm very proud of the fact that uh, my two uh, what were called reality shows are not really that at all. What they're about is nurturing new talent for musical theatre and bringing new audiences into musical theatre and I think the fact that I've been given this tonight for a new, new award ceremony means a very great deal to me. So what can I say, really, other than thank you, but let's all believe in the fact that we can bring a new, new audience to theatre. I, I was so proud of the fact that the West End audiences and across the country, uh, audiences for theatre have gone up by 25%, I think, in the last two years, which is quite wonderful. And anything that we can do to encourage young people to come to theatre is just going to be fantastically valuable. So thank you, guys, and I hope you have great success with you all the Hello to a daughter of Doncaster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine the fun I had? Playing a lesbian diva <laughs> at my age. <laughs> With a wonderful company and a great director, Tom, who's sitting there. <laughs> A wonderful adapter Sam who's about to come on and thank you for the icing on the cake but also thank you for loving the theatre as profoundly and as passionately as we up here do thank you Shaffer for his wonderful play. Absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, for his wonderful uh, play and his input and advice throughout all the performances and rehearsals. Um, thank you to Thea Sharrock, our director, to David Pugh and Daphne Rogers, our producers, and to Barbara Hausman, who trained me and my voice to survive four months on stage. And, um, and last but not least, to Richard Griffiths and all the cast and crew who make this, who, who make this one of the most formative and wonderful periods of my life so far. So thank you very much. We now go in to our final set of awards for the evening, uh, or as we like to call it, the hairspray <laughs> section. <laughs> Just to say that uh, I came out of Les Mis and straight into Hairspray thinking, oh, it'll be fun, it'll be light, it'll be fluffy. And I was really wrong. Uh, the, the genre was very hard for me to understand. Never seen it, never heard of it, and I know I should have, but I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I think TV's something on the Anyway, um, 
So, you know, I found it very difficult doing truthful, not truthful, cartoon, big, small. It was very contrary to me. Danny helped me a lot with that. Thank you very much. Um, and I did lose faith, to be honest. I lost faith after like 30 years of doing this. I just thought, I don't know what I'm doing at all, and I'm going to give up. And uh, so, when I came out the stage door, people used to clear, like this. <laughs> like, oh God, and I'm not doing it to be liked, but what you want to do is serve the peace as well as you can. So we, you know, we're all insecure, we want to serve and please an audience because we're not doing it for anybody else. We're not doing it in the back. We're not doing it for ourselves. We're doing it for the audience. So thank you for putting a bit of faith back in me to think that I might be on the right track or something. And thanks to Adam Spiegel for thinking the same as well. Okay, mum, my mum has been on me all week about writing a speech. I was like, mum, it's fine. Don't worry, don't stress. So I did it in TGI's about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so, first of all, if you don't know who I am, I'm Ben. I'm from any gym will do. I am not Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, I mean, that experience was, was amazing. James, it was good. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I love every minute. Good. I have, to, I have to thank Angelo Glover, John Byron, Bill Kenwright, and, and all the BBC for, for giving me the opportunity to show what I can do. And um, then it goes on to David Grimrod for giving me the call um, to come in for the Hesper audition, um, which was probably the turning point of, of a lot of things. And I've got to thank him a lot for that. And obviously, thanks to Stage Entertainment, Adam Speaker, Rebecca Quigley, for, um, for seeing in me something that wasn't even working. Um, I've got to thank the cast, especially Leanne, for, for being my gorgeous leading lady, that she is. Um, and obviously Michael Ball. It was, it was a bit um, split between me and him for the part of the lacking. <laughs> I think, I think we're on the right, right track, I don't know. Um, I've got to thank Watson Stage and everyone for voting. Um, without you guys, I wouldn't be still here right now. Um, and obviously my family. Without them, who would I be? No one. So, thank you very much. on stage readers and the people online you know um, I used to chat in the forums about six months ago or well I don't know about eight months ago so I first want to say thank you to all of you for your amazing support um, I, I hope that maybe standing here that I kind of proved that maybe dreams can come true so you know if you really do want something in life I really believe that you should just give it your all and don't let anybody stand in your way and just um, go for it um, I'd also like to thank the Hairspray company, cast and crew. Um, I'm doing this under a bit of an umbrella so I don't miss anyone out, but I, it's, they've welcomed me into their uh, family um, and they're, they're wonderful. Um, and that goes for everybody who was involved in casting me as well. Um, and basically I'm, I'm so, so lucky that I get to go to work and, and work with some amazing, inspiring people who um, you know, Ben and Michael and, and everyone in the cast. Um, every single day, I thank my lucky stars that I am where I am. Um, I'd also like to thank my agent, Rob, for everything that he does for me. He works so hard, and I love you. <laughs> and um, most importantly, my dad, my stepmom, Mags, all my family, all my friends. Uh, I wouldn't be here without their love and support. So, thank you very much. <laughs> Wait there, my club coming. <laughs> I'm also bringing you a drink. <laughs> oh, I shot it over the edge there, there you go. voted uh, for this, um, and thank you for a wonderful show that's, that's been put on this evening, it's really been so enjoyable. Uh, I've had an act that, uh, that James and Sheridan, after this working together, are actually forming a double act. Um, true, they're going to call themselves the Symbolics. 
Sheridan's going to be Sim and James will <laughs> just be himself, I guess. <laughs> it has been the most fabulous few months doing Hairspray. Um, uh, I just, I, unlike Tracy, from, from, I did know the part, I did know the role, I did know the show, and I knew when we started in rehearsals with extraordinary talent like that, that we were onto a, a really big thing. The, uh, the creative team that came over, we were so lucky to have Jack and Jerry and Mark and everybody come over and work with us and, and, and make it happen. Um, Stage Entertainment have done a fabulous job putting it on for us. Um, I've been very lucky to be supported at home by Kath. Uh, I couldn't be happier, I couldn't be more proud. And um, if you haven't seen this, come, because it's really bloody brilliant. <laughs> God bless you, thank you very much.